Traders, it's Anthony here. A little while back I did this video in uh, my ideas. I posted it into my trading view ideas. If you scroll down you'll find it. In any case, cut a long story short, this video, uh, this trade I should say, resulted in a bit of a 17R outcome if you had closed down in here. Anyway, I'll delete this and we're going to have a look at today's current price we're going to go out to a daily I'm going to be looking for another entry point now the thing with Solana I mean I think this is probably my preferred altcoin and uh, this has definitely got a, a bright future look at this price action and look at this pullback right here this is uh, meeting my criteria for a optimal entry on the daily time frame. If we pull a Fibonacci low to high, it's traded right into the 50 to 61.8 Fib zone. I'm always looking at this these price swings and I need a discount. I'm good with that. Now the thing with this, don't underestimate how far this thing can pull back. If you're, look, if you're an investor and like me, I mean, I'm, I'm pretty keen on Solana. I'm inclined to uh, accumulate, essentially, just buy and hold. And I, I'm going to be looking to dollar cost average in at uh, every opportunity. And this, to me, is, is, a, is an opportunity. Just looking at these pullbacks from back here, yeah, I mean, don't underestimate how far this thing can move. You know, I mean, we could see it pull right back. Okay, so, you know, two things. One dollar cost averaging uh, average in and the other thing would be to trade it and if you're looking to trade it then we'll, we'll cover this in the video I'm looking to buy up at the moment and uh, but here's here's my uh, trade idea if you want to go with that now a couple of things I mean look if you want to trade it if you could speculate and go with a buy current level stop would go under this is a daily time frame and I'm looking at a swing trade here stop under the previous low so that's pretty standard for you know what I would be looking for you know if it's this if it's a set and forget and I'm not in front of the charts then this would be a trade let me just mark this up but uh, and then what we'll do is we'll go down to the time frames and I'll uh, just pinpoint how to enter this with a tighter stop if you're looking for an entry and you know you're watching this market like into the New York Open or the uh, the London Open or something like that then uh, you know we'll talk about how we can get involved with this right so first up I'm looking at this here as a target and we've got a 2.7 R as you can see here with this setup right that's one idea go for these highs I mean look and the rest but uh, you know I'm expecting this to definitely uh, you know I could draw a moon up here <laughs> where it could be a bit of a moon boy let's do that <laughs> okay that's the moon with a smiley face anyway <laughs> let's go down the time frame and let's get a bit closer to it I mean I like how this is trading at the moment uh, we do see this lower high here, so don't be surprised to see this pull back dramatically. I mean, you know, it, it can... <laughs> look look at this here, for example, okay? So that's not out of the question. It's risky, you know, if you're going to be trading it. But in any case, uh, another idea would be to go in uh, on a 15-minute time frame and I mean, this is the strategy that I trade day in, day out. At the moment, we can see this actually trending. The 15M, it's already trending. And we've got this pullback. So, you know, you could go in on this time frame. Look, it's risky because of the volatility. But, you know, if, you, if you're looking to day trade or scalp this... Possibly a long position, you know, at the current price. I wouldn't trade this this way, but <laughs> I, I'm just saying this because this is this is my strategy. If 
if you're looking for tight stops, then, you know, swing low, swing high, retrace. Yeah, well, it's a pretty deep retrace. And enter with a stop below the previous low. And, I mean, that is the, the concept, right? If you've got a trend and it's a bullish trend and you're looking to scalp, then this is the trade idea. And you want to be getting in, for example, on this pullback and uh, you're going to be setting your stop. See the previous low? It's as simple as that. Stop below the previous low no matter where you enter. Stop below the previous low, okay? It's, it's in a trend. Right, but understand the risk with this. Be conservative with your position size. Can it roll over and take you out? Of course it can. But more often than not, when this starts trending, here's the thing, look. If you trade this on a 15 and you're looking to scalp it, okay, here. We're looking for the pullback. Swing low, swing high, retrace, okay, buy. Swing low, yeah, you might have missed that one. But you know this this could have been this could have been an entry, okay? We're looking for swing low, swing high retrace. I don't know if you caught that, maybe, maybe not. But here's the thing, right? Swing low, swing high, there's a nice entry. This trade or these trades down here are still running. The previous stop hasn't been taken out. You know, you could build your position every time this swings back, you buy. So you're buying, if you can catch it, generally I'm looking for a fib pullback, but so far, you know, you've got one, two, three, four, you know, five or six trades, profitable. And once you see it shift gears and start to trend down, then you close. And I mean, where am I? Here we are. These are still running. Okay, this is scalping or day trading. You know, you enter on all of these pullbacks. This strategy works, by the way, guys. I trade day in, day out. And uh, if you watch my videos, you'll see that uh, yeah, they, they, uh, they shape up pretty pretty well. All right. You know, so these stops are all intact up until this point here, where they get taken out as this trades down. And, you know, but as soon as you see the trend shift lower highs lower lows i mean then you can exit but uh you know if that's an exit then you've got one two three you know all of these trades paying you and i mean there's a lot of money involved here if you if you trade this well so you know scalping that's the idea this is my my scalp for today understand the risk but here, here's the thing right you you trade this strategy and look there's a retrace there's a retrace. There's another retrace. Okay, that one got taken out. These two are still running. You see what I'm getting at? In any case, I'll just uh, get rid of all that. <laughs> but uh, that's, that's the idea, guys. It's trending up. Watch out. We've got a lower high here. Okay, so understand the risk. So I think with that, that covers... Uh, Solana, and again, I'll just come back to the beginning where I mentioned this is an ideal. If you if you're dollar cost averaging in as an investor, I think this is a great entry point to accumulate. You know, buy and hold, and look seriously, be prepared for the journey. All right, that could happen, but ultimately. I think this thing is definitely, well, I think it has a strong future. There's plenty of videos out there on Solana and, and uh, you know, the uh, reasons why people are invested in this. I've been watching a few videos from uh, some of the YouTube you know, guys that are pretty reputable in the game. Uh, Raul Paul, I think he's he's the guy that I, I, I like to watch. <laughs> so, um, yeah, guys, that's my take on Solana. And uh, with that, I hope you have a great day, safe trading, and we'll see you in the next one.